My first memory of uh, the magic of jewelry was um, my father. He had a manufacturing factory in Providence, Rhode Island, which is the costume jewelry center of the country. And uh, so he would go down to New York City every Wednesday, and he would just go to all these different um, places, and they would say, here, bring these samples and make these samples. And so every Wednesday night, he would come home with a big bag full of jewelry. He would hand me the bag, and I would just rip it open, and it would all go on the floor. And it's what I played with, you know? I didn't play with Barbies, I played with jewelry. And so that's really where it all began. And my love and, and passion for jewelry just kept growing. When I moved to Los Angeles, I discovered Antiquarius. It was uh, just jewelry booth next to jewelry booth next to jewelry booth. And I, I found Neil Lane. We just clicked and he saw that I had a passion for it. And so he became my teacher. And I, I would literally visit Antiquarius as if I were going to MoMA or going to the Met. You know, because I, I, I feel like jewelry is, it's wearable sculpture, it's art. But I think jewelry is incredibly important in terms of building a character for film or TV or any kind of storytelling. For Grace, because she is a creative person, it's very important. The clothes she wears, the jewelry she chooses, it has to be authentic. Getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame was an incredibly powerful and surreal moment. I found this Oscar de la Renta dress that was gold. You would think with a gold <laughs> shimmery dress that you would want to keep it simple. You know, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm just gonna, I'll wear my studs. And, and then I was like, I think, I think we need to look for an earring. Inevitably, I always go for the big earring. I just, I, just, I just like a statement earring. I love jewelry design that is really bold and unapologetic. I love stones. I love the 50s. I love a lot of, a lot of modern jewelry as well. I, I love a lot of jewelry. I feel like when I put on jewelry, it's like I'm, I'm choosing what aspect of myself I want to reveal for the day. It's visceral, it's chemical, it's, it's not something you can fake, you know? It's like, I see it and it, it literally like changes my, my blood pressure, it changes my pulse, it like, it feels like it, it gives me life. These earrings I bought from Fred Layton. They're special to me because I visited them for 10 years. I'm not lying. And then um, I was turning 40. And I was like, you know what? Why am I waiting? I've been visiting them for 10 years. I will wear these all the time. And I have. This was a present to myself. And that's another thing, was, was sort of growing into a place where I said to myself, I don't need to wait for someone else to buy me jewelry. When I heard that I was being honored in this way, I was, I was so grateful and thrilled because it really is a fundamental part of who I am. My, my love for jewelry and my appreciation for jewelry design and designers. And that came from my father. From those moments of him walking in and him handing off, you know, this bag of jewelry and, and wanting my feedback and, you know, giving me a sense of um, autonomy at a very young age. It really was impactful. And in a way, I feel like my being honored is really an honor for my father. And, um, Yeah, really means the world to me.